रेल ग <laughs> so, are you, so are you like going down to Soho Road now? No, I'm currently uh, on the route to Sentosa Island. Really? <laughs> yeah. You were in Soho Road <laughs> finding something. <laughs> Soho Road, the then you love that for a canna which you mundra pa ke. Yeah, that's what you call, right? <laughs> I love my mundra so, at home, man. Mundra, yar, I need the mundra. You should be wearing the mundra, man. जर्नी बीन इन म्यूजिक सीन सो फार The journey has been good, man. You know, full of ups and downs. I think mm. it it was good. I I think I learned a lot throughout the uh, the three years that I've been doing music. Hmm. So you know, I don't know, man, because I'm in my own world. I don't really bother about what people do. <laughs> and, and you know that you know that I'm in my yeah. own world. You know, because yeah, I, yeah. I don't really see what another artist put out. I don't get caught up in all that hype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just do what oh. I want to do. I release what I want to release. Be it hit, flop, it doesn't matter, man. You know. Mm-hmm. My job is to just But, put out the music. You know the interesting bit about Rush Frantic here is that you kind of brought Pangra alive in Singapore. That's the biggest thing ever, biggest achievement. I would say you kind of plotted Singapore in the Bangrama, worldwide, and people recognize Singapore for the Rush Frantic sound. I mean, that's an achievement in itself. In a way, yes. In a way, yes. But the thing is that my my support system, you know, it comes from mm. overseas. It doesn't come from my home homegrown talent, but support mm. here has been weak, man. You know. Yeah. So it's but much overall, more. Pretty- I mean, You know, overall, like when it comes down to, for example, your home city, where you know, uh, when you got into this game, into the music scene, right? What, how how supportive was your own family in this game? <laughs> okay, <clears throat> the truth, my 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 elder brother. Hmm. Okay, he wasn't really a fan <laughs> of me doing music. All <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Because okay. I mean, I understand where he was coming from. Yeah, it was because there were too many DJs in Singapore at a point of time. Right. Okay. And the DJs, the DJs here, are unlike those in the UK, Canada, or states. You know, here they mm-hmm, don't mm-hmm. even pay you pay you proper to go and spin. You know. Right. Okay. So he was like, you know, don't waste your time. You know, learning music, just go and get a job, go and do a proper job. You know. Yeah. 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 So I, but. The thing that you know, it was inside me that I want to do Punjabi music. I want to mm. do music, you know. So I went to do my uh, my studies at um, School of Audio Engineering (SAE) Institute. Wow. Okay. Interesting. So, th- so that was where I got to learn how to record uh, artists, build my own mm. studio, and the whole fundamental foundations of um, music business. Mm-hmm, right. Mm-hmm. the copyright laws what you, you know etc etc 
Cool. Yeah. So and then um, I started doing remixes first for um, UK artists, but pro bono, free of charge. You know, just to build my contacts. Just to build the portfolio, basically. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, in life, you got to you know you you got to. I mean, you got to do free work sometimes, you know, to build that network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Absolutely, absolutely. So that's what, so that's what I did, and um, um, so I for my final project in school, I was hmm. supposed to release, uh, produce a song from from scratch. Right. So I needed vocals, so I got I got um, Mars Bonafide. Ah, oh, wow! Interesting. They, at that point of time, they released a track called "Feel It Sony." Mm. So I I asked him for his vocals if he could just give it to me so I can use it for my school project. Yeah. And then they, I mean, he gave me, and from there I started doing remixes after remixes, and then came Ed Singh. Wow. Ed Singh was a guy who I've known for maybe nine years now, man, nine years. Mm. Mm. So Ed Singh is a massive fan of Doctor Zeus. Oh yes, absolutely. I've noticed that because he tends to share a lot of Doctor Zeus's work, you know, on right, his social right. network. And then, you know, yeah, interesting. So he was a massive fan of Doctor Zeus, and um, he had the um, the desire to release a song of his of his own. Hmm. So I I sat down. I mean, I I called him up on WhatsApp and I told him I say, okay, listen, I want to release a song. Yeah. Do you have vocals? Hmm. And he said, "Yeah, Paji, I do have vocals." So he sent me "Luck Tera." <laughs> wow, yeah, about that. That was a solid track, though. Solid track, you know. Yeah, it. It. I mean, musically it was, but it bombed. <laughs> yeah, bilkul. It bombed big time. It big time because when I remember when that released, right? I played it on the radio, and it, it was like. That is solid. Like there's a bit, there's a bass on there, there's a melody there, there's a complete package, like a dance floor vibe. Yeah, but the song did not work well, man. You know, even though musically it was banging, it did mm. not work well. So that was my debut song, but it was a flop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, to me, to me, like I told you before, earlier yeah. on, I told you like to me, it doesn't matter if it's flop or hit, right? Yeah. So if it's a flop, I will say it's a flop because to me, when I see the consumers not appreciating that kind of song, hmm. it's flop. Why is it, why is that? Because you know when it comes down like, you know, luck tera, then you know Jawab, then the rest of the tracks what came after that, one after the other they were banging tunes like they had a, it had a good vibe to them. But what could be the reason why? It, you, them songs did not get as much response what it should have been was it would, something related would, to the marketing or was something related to what what could it be from your side for me i would say it was down to my marketing hmm at the point of time i did not know much about marketing how to market myself my music you know what right. I mean? and um of course i was i was Promise a lot of thing by a set, you know, few people. I'm not going to mm. mention him, but they promised me, oh, you know, we're going to push your track out and blah blah blah. Yeah, but it didn't work. So, so meaning that you come across uh, some form people where they promised you that they'll take it to the next level, this and that, blah de blah, but they failed to actually follow whatever they agreed to. Yeah. Hmm. So I take that as a you know learning lesson. Yeah. So then, uh, yeah. So it did not work. That's it. It did not work. But I wish it had worked because it was really a banging track. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Musically, it was really banging. You know, hmm. full on bangra mode. Yeah, definitely. Because in a way, Rush. I mean, it's been a while uh, since we've actually heard that sort of song. That's our track, which we would actually hear for the next ten years by the DJs. Like if we look back to Amin Hare's music, where you, he's, we've got that the Hildi, you know, even Punjab BMC stores, you know that they still get played, right? Yeah. They're, they're like evergreen anthems. Yeah. But it's 
you know, it was it had been quite a while since we heard a song which you would imagine a lot of the DJs to play for many years. Man, I and one more thing I would say is that you know people are so comfortable with just a selected few artists. Hmm. Hmm. To them, yeah, to them, yeah. it's like you know Punjabi music means just these few artists. Yeah, I yeah I know where you're coming from. I know I where you're coming from. There is so much of talent that is hidden that yeah. is undiscovered. Hmm. So many banging tracks that go you know that have been slept on. So to me, I find it a waste when you know outlets, especially you know there are plenty mm. of them on Instagram right now. Mm-hmm. You know, they keep promoting the same the same stuff over and over again, when there yeah. are currently new new artists, new music that are supposed to be discovered, and the music is banging. I mean, that's what music is all about, isn't it? It's about discovery and uh, actually like trying out different experiment, and you know, it's it's, it's about listening to new fresh content you know that's what music is all about is bringing people together so talking about mitra di jaan again mitra di jaan hai badi khas album si it was a fantastic track right can you actually tell me uh, in in great depth that uh, who was on the front cover of the album <laughs> <laughs> the guy the guy on the front cover is the guy that's chatting with me right now <laughs> ਦੇਖੋ ਜੀ ਐਵੇਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਉਹ ਗਾਣਾ ਹਿੱਟ ਹੋਇਆ ਬਾਬਿਓ ਐਵੇਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਹਿੱਟ ਹੋਇਆ ਗਾਣਾ ਉਹ ਸਾਡੀ ਸੋਹਣੀ ਸੂਰਤ ਬੋਰੇ ਲੱਗੀ ਉਸ ਕੀ ਤਾਈ ਸੀ ਹੈ ਉਸਤਾਦ ਜੀ ਟੋਕ ਯਾ ਬਾਬਾ ਮਿਤਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਜਾਨ ਦਾ ਵੋਕਲ ਯੈਸ ਆਈ ਆਈ ਗੋਟ ਦਾ ਵੋਕਲਸ ਇਨ 2013 ਰਾਈਟ ਓਕੇ ਰਾਈਟ ਸੋ ਅਮ ਸੋ ਐਟ ਦੈਟ ਪੋਇੰਟ ਆਫ ਟਾਈਮ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ I was inspired by GV he had an album mm. um, I, I forgot the, I forgot the album man he had a song with um, Premi I think it's called Legends or something like that oh, All right yeah 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 yes 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 there was Belko Yeah so I kind of like the whole music the whole beat that he had going on Hmm so I made a version of Mitra Tijan in the exact same style <laughs> Wow Kya baat hai but i did not release that version you know right so so at the point of time so i was doing my own um, my own research and stuff you know to see how well the track has done hmm it, it done fairly good but it wasn't really much appreciated by many so i told myself i'm going to release mitra dijan in that same style it's not going to work It's not going to work. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Great decision there. So I said yeah. I I should just, you know, take my time and uh, redo the whole song again. So hmm. I went for pure DC vibe. Wow. Um inspiration from India, inspiration from the UK. You know? And uh I thought probably what it was uh it took maybe 2 3 years of work. I took my time really took my time and when it dro- it dropped hard man <laughs> dropped you know really it was hard. it's a solid track it's a solid track i mean but even pangra holic is saying it's a great song i mean you know mitra and jaan is a solid track i mean when you listen it you want to listen it a few times on repeat but there's something about that song so uh, yeah so continue regarding beja beja so beja beja was a solid track as well but i uh, i think it was uh, i think it's one of the best tracks of this year 2020 What do you think? Yeah, 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 definitely man. I I I myself felt that it was going to be a banger. And it is a banger. It is a banger. No doubt. But, Because the lyrics but, but but the thing is that Baja Baja was delayed for for a year and a half, I think. Yeah, a mm. year and a half. Yeah. So because I had a lot of issues going on in 2019. Right. I think I think you know what's the issue. Yes, very well. We're going to come to that very soon. Very soon. <laughs> We're going to come to that now. So I wanted to be uh, mentally in the right place before I release music. Yeah. So I'm grateful for Sandy for being very very patient with me. Wow. So he was like, "No, take your time when you feel like, you know, you want to release, let me know." That kind of stuff. So yeah, so we decided that 
March, actually, you know, in January this year, I told him, I said, no, maybe Valentine's Day we will release the song. Hmm. And he was like, okay. So Valentine's Day came and gone. I did not release the song. So I said, no, we do it in March. Yeah. So video was for April. But video got to be cancelled. So for now, you only have the, uh, I don't know, you have like, you just have a video with, you know, a few of his, um, his videos mashed up in it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. But it did work quite well, though. It actually works very well because I, I, I know how you, you know, you tried to give that kind of a DJ vibe on the video as well. That And then bright colors, the that kind of a you vibe. Know, you know, there's one more thing I want to tell you, man. You know, these days, everybody thinks that you have to have a music video, a full-fledged mm. music video in order for you to release a song. Yeah. I don't think so. Because you can, you can have the best video done. But yeah. the track... Yeah. It's crap. Yeah, I, I know where you're coming from. It just feels like as if the more effort is being put on the video compared to the effort put in the actual production side of music. So, to, you know, okay, first thing of all, you know, making a video is not going to be cheap anyways, right? Yeah. So you're going to spend all your money on making a good video, solid video, without even thinking that maybe I should make a good track first. Hmm. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you see, like, okay, you see mainstream market. Yeah. They hardly release music videos. Absolutely, you're right. Rap, Absolutely. Rappers, they will say, oh, no, check out my SoundCloud, my new track drop. SoundCloud, yeah, they yeah. don't have videos, right? We only yeah, have yeah. the music. Yeah. And, it's, and, and it bangs because the music is good. The music's good, yeah, exactly. But for, for our culture, for our DC scene, no, no, we need to show this. We need to show them this. Mm. With the gardenia, with the car. But all that doesn't belong to anybody. It's not yeah. just... You get yeah. what I mean? I, to, to me, it's, all that is the cover. I don't, I don't want to do the cover. Wow. <laughs> you get what I mean? Just release good music. If somebody hears, they feel, hey, you know, it's a banging track. I like this track. It will pass down. He will tell someone, someone will tell someone. You, know, you get what I mean? Word of mouth. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, that is exactly. the that is the best marketing at all, uh, best marketing man. Word of mouth, that's the best marketing. Now yeah. you know, Rush. I mean, coming to uh, those who are watching us as well. So many people at the moment. We've got Sharon Virk here. We've got Nazmin Chaudhary. Uh, we've got Amrit Akar from Germany. Uh, we've got Bounce Pangra as well. Manjeet Kaur Rani. Um, I want to ask a bit of a question to you, uh, Rush, on this one, right? Wait, wait, hold do on, hold on. Well, do you know, uh, you know, do you think a lot of the women tend to uh, uh, listen to you more compared to the men? Salman Khan ji, King Khan, being human, eh? you look like a saloon. No, the thing, is, the thing is that I, yeah, I mean, when I check my Spotify, you have this, um, they have this section where you can check your listeners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have more males or females. Oh, so yeah. I do get more females, but the thing is that it's because f females, if they like a song, means they like a song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But we guys, we tend to be very competitive. Yeah, true. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I get you. I get you. Where are you coming from? So... So, you know, the Vada was very fantastic. The track was banging, right? As it was, as a Hindi track, as a cover song, right? right. Uh, but coming down to uh, Rash Frantic's, uh, uh, you know, the comedy side of Ra Rash Frantic as well. There's a bit of a laughter side of him as well. <laughs> so, Rash Frantic... I've got some very interesting questions put together, right? So I'm hoping you'll be able to answer them with full comedy and full laughter as well. Okay. That's okay, okay, that's so. okay, the first question. The most funniest ever experience you've had on an Indian wedding? Oh, man. F funny experience. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I was part of a Bangra group back in the day. Okay, right. So we okay. Used to dance at weddings and stuff, right? Right. 
so there was a time at a performance where my friend had a fall acha okay while while dancing you know while dancing you yeah. know yeah. so i couldn't control my laughter i had to hide behind the curtain <laughs> which year was this tell us about which year was this how how old you like you know you know uh, tell us tell us a bit about what year was this when this happened this was maybe in 2002 man <laughs> right it so, but it was so embarrassing man it was so embarrassing well why did you feel like going helping him rather than laughing at him <laughs> no man no 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 i was like no i got to go and hide myself is <laughs> <laughs> is every man for himself bro right <laughs> right okay so i got another question right when was the last someone proposed to you saying that you're salman khan last week yeah <laughs> right okay last week okay but you're on the lockdown so this was uh, by social media or by a phone call <laughs> social media wow so tell us a bit about this uh, this uh, constant thing about you know that your look like of salman khan i mean like ki tusi doni koi bichhde par aaya like uh, you know hadwa tusi ek dooje to bichhad gaye sige da what was what was this uh, salman khan thing I don't know man maybe it's just the angles that I think my photos are maybe people feel that okay this angle he looks like you know this person but I don't see that for myself you know what I mean hmm and the kala chashma and the uh, the bracelet as well yeah but I don't know where my bracelet gone man <laughs> right okay so I've got another question right for example Right. If uh, Rush Frantic, when Rush Frantic comes to the UK, right, you are going to do the welcome dance. Oh, I'm going to do it. Therefore, I'm going to do that. Mad the Cody, I've already planned out. I'm going to get a Pangra team, right? I'm going to get a, you know, uh, I'm going to get everything on board. It's going to be proper swagger. You know, there's going to be a limousine you know there. Something? You can get Amar B from um, Artist Band too. Oh yeah, therefore, we're going to get Amar B. We're going to get Amar B. He's going to bring down his band. Right, we're gonna bring the band, and uh, we're gonna be playing the music. We're gonna have an instrumental of "Aaj Mere Yar Ki Shaadi Hai." Amar B, Amar B can, Amar B can play his tolki well, man. Duk, 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 oh duk, duk, yeah, he's solid. <laughs> man, he's solid tolu player though. He's a solid tolu player. Oh yeah, 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 he is, man. Solid you know, I think good. you know, Paji. You know what you should do, right? I think you should have Amar B's tolu in one song. Yeah, I mean, we have been talking. You know, we we plan to work together on a track. Yeah. So let's see how it goes. You know, for now we don't have anything concrete, but yeah, we yeah. will. We'll see how it goes, man. You know. Yeah, man. Definitely, it sounds definitely, like definitely on the books. It sounds like a plan. It sounds like a plan because you know there needs to be some uh, sort of collaboration amongst people who are actually genuinely worshiping punk Punjabi music in the right way, rather than you know. You know, if you get, yeah. you know, you know, you know, bro. I, I love working with people who are very genuine by heart. Yeah. Who come with clean intentions? That is very important. Yeah, definitely. Trust, trust is has to be there. The trust has to be there in every game. You know. Because you know, I, I mean, I, I've, I've seen friends become, become um, rivals, when there's no need to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. and people support you now but when you are good and they know you are good they stop supporting you mm. you go know i mean I it's just that, you know it. they feel that oh you know he might overshadow me or he might you know but all that is to me honestly is not important that's why you see me sharing people's work all the time oh bounce pangra di gal chal rahi si about bounce pangra's track that is solid tune You know, it is. I'm glad. I'm glad you actually introduced me to that track. You know, because it kind of no, got me to like, listen to like, a different side of music. The thing about that track is, is it it has complete mainstream vibes. You know what I mean? Hmm. And it's yeah, very, yeah, yeah. It's been a very long time since I heard a track with that kind of vibe. Yeah. You're talking about 
like you know those uh, in the uh, early 2000s we had that kind of vibe yeah 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 so, therefore so their track had that well, it's very unfortunate the fact that you know although these trucks me and you are saying that they're fantastic and you know we listen it and we kind of you know think that it sounds like how it was back then why is it that no one actually wants to touch that sort of music and just want to concentrate on the established big names out there but they don't want to listen to the brand new people they are just comfortable man they're just comfortable that's about it Mm. and to people music means guns gangster yeah whatever nonsense that is music to them and the same the same to me i call it the same sound syndrome mm mm yeah yeah 10 tracks gangster tracks 10 tracks hip hop beats and we yeah. have the you know the gunshot boom 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 that's it you know Lyrically, the song isn't that fantastic as well. Well, I mean, I'll tell you, you know, we're talking about this. I mean, it's quite interesting because I remember this uh, producer had a song in the UK, which he sent it to the BBC, I think, to the to a radio station. You're right to get it played and stuff. It got rejected, right? But the following week, there was another track which was clear had gunshot sounds in the in the track, and that got accepted. It got played on the radio. So it's quite strange of the way the twists are happening in music at the moment. You know, do you know in our industry, it's uh, you scratch my bag, I scratch your bag. It's a very common thing. <laughs> hmm. 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 Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a very you know we we complain about nepotism in Bollywood, blah blah blah, right? But in our own desi scene, we have this going on for ages. Hmm. You know, it's people are just being biased towards. Okay, you know, you're my friend, even though your track is crap. I'll just say your track is good. You get what I mean? They just you know fake pump it up. That's it. I think that in a way is kind of ruining the industry in a way because there, there's no like uh, you know because there was a time when there used to be record uh, re, you know record LPs there used to be cassettes there used to be CDs it used to be a clear way of knowing that gana hit hoya or the album was a hit or not due to record sales you know it could have get worked out nowadays it is all digital everything and it seems to be more related to the views you see you see it man the you see the olden days okay let's go back to the 80s yeah. and 90s yeah you see bands like azad premi alap mm. uh, sharad pashan you know all this till today they are still supporting one another oh yeah 100% no like doubt Hira, you know like Hira, and all they would like oh you know my my baji releases this track please support and stuff like that yeah, yeah. there yeah. is yeah. no there is no jealousy among everybody I've noticed that. You're absolutely right there. Bang on right but, there. But the current de- generation, we have this, you know, like, oh no, I'm not going to promote his track because you know, even though it's good, but I'm not going to touch. Hmm. You know, but they might promote yeah. their own, their own friend's track. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which, exactly. Which may not be as good as, okay, let's say my track. You know what I mean? But they are talking to hmm. me, but they say no, we're not going to promote Rash because. Uh, we just don't want to it has no unity i would say there's no unity in the scene man there's no unity at all and i think that's what's trying to uh, i think that's the, the the sign of where the industry actually sounds like as if it's finished because there's no unity there's no kind of thing where you know you're supporting each other you're kind of pushing each other's work together keeping that kind of bonding in the industry that you know yes exactly they don't have that no more man now you know those you know i i hate twitter at all i really hate twitter because to me that is so toxic man twitter hmm and on twitter you can see people will keep saying oh no um, you uh, you guys don't support my music you don't support this but these are the same guys who will not support someone else's music absolutely to the you point that you know what that? i'm trying to say yeah. you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 
when it's time for you to support someone's music you don't support and you expect mm. people to support you yeah i i don't understand how that works but that's a very bad mentality to have man absolutely because it does kind of ruining uh, the relationship and it's kind of ruining the uh, kind of uh, the actual essence of what music is about it's all about bringing people together yeah you know so yeah i mean a very interesting thing we're talking about here because it, i think there needs to be a bit of change i think you know amongst people nowadays because the industry is already small already i think it's high time you know if everyone everyone keeps writing you know there's one thing by you must have noticed this on social media <laughs> a lot of people write oh uk punk has finished no uk bangra is not finished bro it's not finished have you, have that, have that, you have you have talented producers in the uk okay but the thing is yeah. that no one is supporting one another no one is supporting each other that's the thing that's what's failing that's that's the main so thing was failing that's so that's how they're going to say oh bangra is their bangra is their bangra is not dead man it's you people who are making it die mm bigko you know yeah at one at one at one time uk bangra was so popular worldwide man oh yeah 100% even still you yeah. know even still there's still artists who still say that uk's bangra sound and the production cannot be competed no it cannot be man it, it's totally unique the vibe everything you know once you hear the beat drops you go you go crazy yeah exactly absolutely but how but how did how did it die down how i think you know what it is uh, you know it's kind of i think there's a bit of a high influence of uh, the punjab market because i think it's kind of absorbed uh, the the genre of mu- style of music down here and it's kind of absorbed with punjab's artist that could yeah. be a reason yeah 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 i mean No, no, I don't. I, you see, bro. India got their own style of Bangra music. Yeah. UK got their own style. America got their own style. Yeah, definitely. And it's very no obvious. It's, and it's very obvious of their styles when you hear the music. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Absolutely. very, very obvious. They have different styles. Okay. Oh yeah. And India cannot replicate UK sound. Simple mm. as that. Yeah. Absolutely. UK cannot Absolutely. replicate yeah. India sound. You can come close, but you cannot replicate the original. Hey man, hey man, bro. Okay, I think I see Shin Hae. Wow, gee, wow, kya baat hai? Shin Hae, <clears throat> one of the uh, I would say top producers at the moment. I would say. To to the guys that do not know, Shin Hae has been a very very good friend of mine. Wow, and, and a person who supports my music. and uh, of course i i i return back the same you know the same feeling one of most wow, genuine yeah. bandas in the in the music scene man respect fantastic absolutely absolutely because when you look back uh, shin uh, when shin hair was known as shin gc yeah. before right with the uh, albums with amar arshi i mean solid solid tunes man they were all they were all bangers bro yeah absolutely sanu dekh mukhda chhapon wali hai you know that song you can't go wrong with it man he's a good producer bro he's a very good producer super talented absolutely, super nice man. super humble yeah definitely man definitely absolutely because uh, end of the day you know when he, when we filter out certain tracks of last year and this year as well right um the songs so far we've heard what have been you know straight away bangers is shin hair yep if you filter out the music whatever gets released nowadays although there's many of the people i mean uh, even big up to cool star as well i mean sardari oh yeah straight yeah, cool star, yeah, yeah. yeah you cool know, star, straight yeah. on bangla man solid cool star cool star yeah top banda man top banda very nice guy mm. yeah man very nice guy but je gal kariye rush frantic singapore walian di right rush frantic uh, a producer who's actually set his own kind of vibe own standard of music and 
is recognized as the Singaporean music machine, just as a representative of Singapore. Mm. Bringing that UK vibe in Singapore is a massive thing. You know, it's a massive, massive thing itself. I, you know, you know, I you think know. I think you were the first one, the first guy on radio who actually played my songs, man. <laughs> Let's say you mentioned that. I want to tell the people who are watching as well. I mean, Ad Singh Paji, he's joined as well from Delhi. You know, luck tera patla jaya, jawab kya geet gaye. You know, hip hop pangra as well, solid vocals. You know, big up to him as well, man. Um, yeah, so coming uh, to uh, radio, yeah, I mean, I want to tell everyone how I got to know Rush Frantic, right? <laughs> if internet didn't exist, I don't think I would have got uh, a brother like Rush Frantic, to be honest, because uh, I remember when you sent me Laktera. I think you yeah. messaged me, didn't you? I think you first messaged me uh, yeah. on Instagram, I think. You messaged me. And uh, well, you had said to me that you know that you know I've come up with a track and stuff, and uh, I was looking if you can play it and this and that. I said, no yeah. problem. I heard the track, right? And my first, my first reaction on that track was, I thought, damn, whoa, what have I just heard just then, right? And <clears throat> on the Sunday, I went to the radio, played it there, and. You know, buddy, what response you got after that, right? Yeah. It got it reached to BBC Radio Leeds. Maybe. I mean, can you guys believe this? It got played on a community radio station by myself. It reached to another community station in uh, Leicester. From Leicester, it reached down to Glasgow. Yep. From Glasgow, it reached down to uh, Southampton, I think. Something like that. From Southampton, it reached down to Birmingham, I think. Yeah. Yep, then it reached yep. to BBC. Then it reached to BBC Radio Leeds. So it came yep. on the label that is officially being played on a BBC radio. I mean, that itself is a journey amongst itself within a month, where it's reached to that kind of level. Yeah. Just within a month. You know, you know, you know, bro. Not many <clears throat> radio DJs are nice people. Hmm. I have a few people in mind, but I'm not going to mention their names. But if I ever get to see them, I'm going to ask them one thing, man. How do you guys download your songs? Because yeah. whenever I send them songs, they tell me, "Oh, no, we did not get the download link." So then, I mean, uh, that is kind of uh, the the. Oh. The Galotia Ridwara where there's a bit of a filtration going, a bit of pick and choosing that what we want to play on radio, what's big, what's massive, what's gonna give us more revenue, what's gonna give us, you know, a big, big you know, recognition that we play this song so massive artist put his track on the show. Right? Okay, you know, a track like Baja Baja. Hmm. Okay, it's a massive track, man. Baja Baja was played on all radio stations except for one. And that's the same radio station who keep telling me we have not received your link. Whoa. It is what it is, isn't it? So, never mind. Galavid, okay, I don't know about support. It's a matter of that. There's a bit of uh, it confusing that, you know, who's the best, who's not the best. You know, who who's going to do Benji Benji tours? Who's going to do Paji Paji tours? You know? Yeah. The whole Paji Paji thing is a disease, man. Really, it is a disease. That I think I think the filtration of the desi mentality needs to be done. You know, that's when things are going to go normal. I think. Yeah, yeah. People need so, to wake up. <laughs> yeah, they need to wake up. Definitely wake up. Absolutely. So I've got a very interesting comment. Was come up with uh, Shin here, Baji. <clears throat> he says, "Respect, brothers. We need you, youngers, to keep doing what you are doing. You boys are have a platform. You need to make sure up and coming talent have people like you too." Wah, yeah, Bata. To help promote new music. Well, that's what it is about, man. I mean, it's about bringing uh, new taste, new vibes. You know, that's what music is all about, experimentation. So, uh, yeah. So, Paji, Rush Frantic. You've done Beja Beja. You've done uh, another solid tune as well. Gary Baba. DJ. Right. Right. Wow. Right. 
Yeah, man. I mean, that was a solid tune as well. Yeah, but the song, the song wasn't well received, man. It was, it wasn't well received in the UK, though. In India, That's, it smashed it. The nineties music, uh, buddy. I mean, nineties music. Coming to the nineties music, who are your favorite favorite bands of that era? Uh, I massively love Azad. Wow. And I love Bombay Talkies. Ah yes, Bombay Talkies. And uh, let me see, Bombay. Oh, of course, we cannot forget the Safari Boys, man. Oh yeah, Safari Boys, man, massive, massive, to massive, me, massive. You know, people. There's a lot of debate on which is the best album ever released and stuff like that, right? So, to me personally, I think Bomb the Tumbi is one album that will never ever be touched, man. Yeah, absolutely. That album is just unbeatable. Absolutely. Bomb, Bomb the Tumbi. Tumbi. Wow. Massive, man. Love all the songs on the album, man, bro. Those were and do you know ladies. one thing? You know, do, do you know one thing? Uh, the, the, especially the uh, uh, Pradesi Music Machine. Yeah, yeah. Back yeah. then, right? Cylinder Pradesi and Bhuta Pradesi, right? All that Pradesi band, they're the only band in the history of Pangra music that performed at the Glastonbury. Yeah, Pradesi band, even even Kem Frantic was part of Pradesi band. Yeah. Yeah, good band. Yeah, good band. But good I, band. I love Salinda's voice. I love Salinda's voice. But I mean, Azad, Safri Boys, Bombay Talkies were the one for me. What's your favorite track of Azad? Tell us about your favorite track of Azad. Oh, Tenu Nachdi Vekhna. Ah, Tenu Nachdi Vekhna. Hi, hi. It's from the album Jata Jag. Yeah, Jata Jag. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So then you watch the dekhna so dekhna in ne bahut aa restaurant te khona ne nach de dekhna te you go i mean basic cheez hai you know that truck what you remixed uh, bop sagu and nirmal siddhu oh yeah 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 punjabi hor that truck as soon you actually re like you technically reproduced it i would class it because you got yeah. elements of other producers you know okay. tunes and you know in okay, there the thing is that actually i did not want to do it but i was on twitter and i saw that books was like you no know, uh i think he team up with simply bangra so they were yes. having this uh music in quarantine kind of project stuff like that yeah yeah so so he released the uh, a cappella for punjabi hur and i was like i actually i actually like the song i really like the song it's a good so song I, it's a song so i so when he released that a cappella i told myself that yeah i'm going to do something with it you know Hmm. So what I did was I basically got ten songs into one song. Wow. I had been I had been Drakia inside uh, Dupatta Teresa Satarangana. I yeah. had Gary Sandhu's Many Pinda Handi. I had uh, Ami Vicks uh, Wang Da Nap. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. Uh, uh, Kulvinda Dillon song also. I had one. So it was wow. basically eight songs made into one track. Fantastic. So, and the most the the funny thing is this, bro. You know, the funny thing is this. Um, mm. So when I released the track, I I know it was gonna be a banger. If it was not a banger, I wouldn't be releasing my music. That that's me. Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. that's me. I'm 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 very critical of my own work. Okay, so when I released the track, after two days, a DJ did the similar version of my track. Yeah. So oh, I, I want to it. ask you, what is the purpose of doing almost the same as me? It's you strange. Know, what what strange. you get out? So where is your uniqueness? You know, you got it's all about Absolutely. uniqueness, all about different different styles, different. You know, like I bring certain kind of music. Uh, Shin Heer brings certain kind of music. Cool Star brings certain kind of music. We are different. Yeah. If three of yeah. us start doing the same music, then what's what? What's the purpose? No how purpose at all. How are we going to make a name? That exactly. You know it's so going to when... sound the same. It's going to sound the same, and it's going to look like as if it one person is producing it, but the other two are just sticking their name on there. Yes. <laughs> so, but so I did. I mean, of course. 
you know, I, I, I know that it was my version, that glass breaking, that whole heavy door and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, didn't yeah. Say, I didn't say no, nothing, you know. I just told the guy, I said, that's nice. When are you going to release the song? Uh, he said soon. And the soon did not come. Maybe he, he realized that, yeah, man, no point, you know. But I that, just, that, 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 the, the reproduction you've done to that track. Yeah. It's kind of reached it on a quite on a high level there because uh, Bob Sagu shared it on his uh, social media. Yeah. Nirmal Sidhu shared it as well as being the vocalist of the track. Nir and he's Nirmal actually done a shout Nir out as well. Nirmal Uncle was very, very happy with the whole, the whole track. And he's such a very, very humble guy with, you know, massive respect for him. He was like, you know, oh, very well done, you know. So I was like, thank you, Uncle. <laughs> very nice guy, wow. very nice guy. And um, wow. and of course, massive respect to Boopsa Goo because Boopsa actually he incorporated my remix into his DJ set live. Ah oh, yes, I saw that clip. It was a, I think it was an online uh, lockdown concert yeah, thing on for, Facebook. For some like, charity, yeah, food charity. bank. There. Yeah, food bank charity thing, and uh, Boopsa Goo played that version on his live DJ session. Right. Yes. And it reached uh, to uh, his audience of people as well in the UK, yeah. which made people to check out that Singapore's rock, Rush Frantic's done this. Yeah, Boobs. I mean, <clears throat> people like Boobs, they, they, are, they are very supportive of um, new, new producers and stuff, which is yeah. very, very uh, positive for the scene, man. Oh, very yeah, 100%. Cool. Absolutely, absolutely. Because in a way, it's kind of giving that hope and giving that thing where the, con the continuous of the UK Pangra sound is going to continue for many, many years, many, many, until the world doesn't explode, right? So yeah. that's how things need to work in a way, you know. Technically, it should be working like that where, you know, new people, it's obvious new people are going to come because but even when, if you look at Punjab's music industry as well, at the moment, yeah. Yeah. every week there's always a new song coming out of a new artist, although we don't know them. So, buddy, um, so... We talked about your tracks, uh, we talked about your music, we talked about the music scene in general, where we stood, where we're at now. What releases are you going to bring us uh, next now uh, under the Frontic label now? I mean, we're looking forward to the music from your side. What are you going to be bringing soon? I mean, tell us, share it to the world, man, what you've got planned. Okay. Okay, at the moment, man, at the moment, I have like um, four tracks, right? Uh, one of the tracks is called La Jawab, which is basically Jawab Part 2. Wow, okay. And um, it's written by and sung by Raj Gurmit, the guy who wrote for um, Surjit Khan, uh, Gala Pyar yes. Diya. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Great, great writer, great vocalist as well. And then I have a track, uh, a tribute to my all-time favorite singer. I don't want you to tell anyone yet. Don't tell anyone that, but don't tell anyone who that legendary artist is yet because I think that itself is going to actually, it's going to be massive. I would say it's going to be a massive, massive thing, you know. Yeah, that's, so, all, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to yeah, say. Yeah, I, I think what is planned, right? Who, whoever's watching us right now, right? All of you, you need to be ready for that track, man. Honestly, you're going to be shocked. You're going to be like, whoa, this is something big. <laughs> yeah. Then, uh, then I have, I have a, a, a Bangra version of Hip Hop Bangra. Oh, yes. The okay. Vocals are, the vocals are by Sahib. Sahib, yes. Yes, yep. Sahib. I think everyone knows Sahib from Punjab BMC. Right, right. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, Sahib, Sahib actually, he really, really loved Hip Hop Pangra. He was like, Paji, it's a very nice song. Wow. Could we do a Pangra version? And I was like, yeah, of course, man. No problem. Let's do it. So, so he's, he's one. And uh, the last one, I have um, a song uh, that's, I don't know, maybe for the broken hearted guys, man. You know, those who maybe who got a, uh, yeah, yeah that's, I'm just going to say broken hearted guys. Yeah. That type of category. 
Yeah, so I go for. So track basically, track. so basically, you're trying to uh, rinse uh, everyone's tears who are have been in the Ashikapaji uh, International Limited company, uh, being <laughs> part of the production team, and they've broken their heart. You know, Ashikapaji. Uh, yeah, just like Raj Gurmeet. Raj Gurmeet is, you know, he he told me he said, "Paji, can I write the songs?" I said, "Yeah, of course, man, because he is the newest member of our our team, bro." Oh yeah, absolutely. We formed a very interesting team, which is called Ashik Paji Productions, where we've <laughs> influenced from uh, uh, a great Punjabi artist, Karamjit Anmol, who sung a song called Ashik Paji. The, you know that song is solid, though, Ashik Paji. You know, but I, I've always, you know, uh, I uh, one of the artists that I always love to work with is Amrit Sab. Ah, okay. Amrit Sab is one artist. I think you know, he, he has a good voice. I like his voice and uh, the way he writes his song. Totally, yeah, about totally, that. You know, unique and whatever he writes is all bangers, bro. I am looking forward to the, that day when that happens because uh, I think that kind of combination of Rash Frantic and Amrit Saab, that is going to be a very interesting collaboration. There, we actually we actually came close to uh, doing a track in two thousand fifteen, right? But somehow it did not work out, man. So you know, maybe this year I don't know. Let's see what you know what happens. Let's see what Destiny plans. Was let's see, but. Buddy, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you on Insta Live officially worldwide. First time you've come live on Insta Live. Are you leaving so, me now? It's up to you. Hun to see when the sumo se pakare the khalani ni, mutai the khalani ni, minu singa bodi. Bo gandi che baje. Let's talk, man. You are already the coffee. coffee pee ke. Hey, aap to see coffee the cup of pee ke baje. No, where you running to? Where where? Is your is your missus asking to end the conversation now? No, no, no. Tell me, brother, what happened? Because I heard it. Earlier, there were out. There were so many outtakes. The fact that the signal wasn't correct from your side. Now things are working very well. I'm only on two uh, percent of the battery of my phone. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> no, if I stick the cable down, right, for my car, which I've got it here plugged in, right, you know what's going to happen? My phone connection finally is... sorted out. Now he doesn't want to leave. Oh, of course, bro. No, nah, to be honest, right? The co- look, the conversations we've had so far, they've been very, very engaging conversations about the music, about in general what Rush Frantic is all about. Which everyone, I would say, everyone in the UK, especially, uh, has been intrigued to know what the Rush Frantic is all about. Okay, you know, before 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 we end the conversation, man, I just want to mm. say. You know, never ever chase cloud. Yeah. Just do, just do, just do your work. Release your music. Release good songs, good stuff. That's it. You know, don't worry about who supports you and who doesn't support you. Absolutely, Belko, okay? Belko. You just do what you need to do, and that's about it. Absolutely. And bro, Fantastic. it was nice speaking to you, man. You know, it was really nice speaking to you. Hello, I want to tell everyone, right? I've been talking to Paji Rush Frantic for so many years. I mean, since 2017, Sadi right. Yaripni from Lakatera, till now, right. we've been on the top, right? With the Yarnia, right? We kept it real, kept it straight. And Beishak, we always used to talk on WhatsApp quite oftenly. We were messaging. This is the first time I've actually seen Rush Frantic on the camera or the video call, right? So that itself is a blessing in a way. Right, so big respects, Paji, for taking out your quality time. No, big respect day. to you, bro. Big respect for you know, doing this whole thing with me. Respects.